Recent weeks have shaken Sentinels and North American Valorant as a whole to its core. Allegations against one of their top players are testing not only the org, but also Riot's careful curation of the scene. But the most important calls are made in times of strife, and with days until the first Masters, Sentinels made a quick pivot to make sure their squad was ready to go, setting the stage for one of the region's greatest talents to rejoin the fray. That's right, Tens is back! The former Cloud9 star took a break from competitive Valorant in the beginning of 2021, electing to become a full-time streamer under the blue and white banner instead. Luckily for Valorant fans, their top-tier fragger wasn't gone for long. You're choosing to leave B open, so oftentimes... Man. Tens made his Sentinels debut on short notice, and the star upper fits in this new team like a glove. Tens, excuse me, with the Bladestorm, hunting, looking for Nitro. He's gonna no. get it, a 3k for no. him. Sentinels take the round again. With just a day between the announcement and his first game, many didn't know what to expect of the last-minute addition. How could Sentinels possibly still be serious contenders? But Tens and Crew silenced all doubters in their first match when he brought out his Rainer on Icebox and put on a clinic. And he's got the frenzy, and he's got a oh. kill. Man, all up in Moose's face, and he's getting a jumping one as well on the Thief. I said this the first time I called Tens. This is his world, and we're just living in it. He's got four. He's going hunting for the ace. Let him off the leash. He's digging it. A hot start, but Sentinel's true test would come in the following days. In their way was 100 Thieves, who also made a big roster move at the first Masters, bringing in CS GoPro Ethan. Good flank. Shot up on the lurk. Oh dear. That's a big rolling thunder. Ethan, what? one bullet to go, and he's got a nail shot up in the face. It was one of the most hyped matchups of the tournament. Fans speculated that the match would break viewership records, but instead of a showdown, we saw a showing off. With 10 health, continuing to be a nuisance and steal again on the flank, he might blow this thing up. You've got Hiko, and you've got Asuna. Well, you had Hiko, and you had Asuna, and they're not around any longer. Sentinels once again. Seven rounds, Riv. The Sentinel squad wiped the floor with 100 Thieves on the opening map, taking Ascent while only dropping two rounds. 100 Thieves finally found their teeth in the following map, but they weren't able to close, with Sentinels winning 16-14 in triple overtime. Now that Nitro has shown up, now they might have a chance at something sick with an excellent curveball. Asunu drops, three members remaining on the side of 100 Thieves make that two, as Sentinels look to put 100 Thieves away. Steel and Hiko, no, oh. it's just Steel. Tent, Tent with the Bladestorm looking to take down the remaining member. Steel, what magic do you have in your hat? It's not going to be enough. A flawless round, a statement made. Sentinels 2 0 100 Thieves. For Tens, it was a 25-kill game, helping secure the victory for his new crew with an impressive closing round. With the win, Sentinel secured its spot in the upper finals. But what does the future look like for this developing roster? Tens was brought into the fold at the 11th hour in fraught circumstances, and not even the star man himself knows how long he'll be flying the red banner for. I actually don't know exactly how long the loan is, honestly. I'm just kind of like... Hey, I'll, I'll play. <laughs> Considering his recent impact, will Cloud9 be willing to let their star Valorant player go? For his part, Ten seems to be enjoying his new unit, with the player expressing just how well the team works as a whole. To give credit to Shaz, he was able to explain most stuff that um, they would do and stuff within like an hour and kind of slot me into role, like the role. Um, and then he was able to kind of like counter call against um, LG, he was able to get some good reads against Honor Thieves, he was getting some good reads. So, Shaz's IGL ability is insane. While the future remains uncertain for Tens and the rest of Sentinels, it's safe to say this team are genuine contenders for Masters, and fans are waiting with bated breath to see where they go next. Do you think Tens is the key to making North America's best Valorant team even better? Or will it all come crashing down as the honeymoon phase wears off? Let us know what you think in the comments down below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Deserto for more esports content.